I will start with the very first presentation, which is named Design of uh, Sustainable Domes uh, within the European Project Semester at ESET. Um, this is a joint work of teachers and students that were doing this project semester at ESEP. ESEP stands for the Polytechnic of Porto School of Engineering and uh, they asked me to make this presentation so the questions and the, the details about this are with these authors if you later on would like to make any questions. Um, what is the European project semester? Basically it is a, a, a capstone project program and it plans students from different backgrounds. Students from engineering, uh, product design and also business. Uh, um, business. Uh, it gathers currently 18 schools around Europe, engineering schools, and they share a, a common set of uh, rules, which are they call the golden rules of the EPS. And these rules are basically uh, about uh, soft skills, uh, communication skills, addressing sustainability and multiculturalism and learning through project-based uh, uh, design. Um, actually, if you look into the, the time uh, chart of what is an EPS, which usually runs for one semester, you'll see that the students have a plan of courses, they have to do their project, they have to be meeting with both experts and teachers and they need to create dissemination materials for their project. So they need to advertise and to make the case of the solution they have come up with for the project they were given. Um, you notice that these three different aspects are well depicted in this feature, figure. You can see that, first of all, they have to form a team. So you have students from different backgrounds, from different nationalities, and you have to form a, a, a team with this, so that they work as a team. Students then can attend different courses here on sustainability, communication, project management, ethics and deontology, marketing, etc. So that the group gathers together different competence as a group. Then, while doing their project, they can have meetings and they ask for these meetings with their supervisors, namely, uh, usually on a week basis. The students themselves, they define the agenda for these meetings. <coughs> and in case they need, for instance, because they are coming up with a solution where they don't have the right expertise, they can ask for scientific and technical help. So you see that the center of all this action is the project team. So EPS is about this. Forming a team, different backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds, different nationalities, and putting them working together. Okay? So, if you see, this is what they usually do in an EPS. They arrive into a different country. You, you have to see that they are from different countries, arriving in a different country, and they have to set up their normal lives, start the project, get everything done. For this EPS, there were two different projects. Multifunctional wooden dome shelter and metallic and fabric dome. These were the two projects that were proposed this is last semester. So the challenge is demanding. It requires a multidisciplinary and user-centered design and there is also a, a, a goal here which is compliant with UN, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So this is the introduction about this work. Let's see the challenges that were proposed to the students. The challenge is actually building domes. So this gives you now over, uh, an overview of what a dome could be. A geometric uh, figure and the first one was building a dome with wood, okay, with a window and with a door, and the second one will be building another dome. This
this time using metallic materials. Again, the, the same requirements of having window and door. So, these were the challenges, these were the solutions. The students are also expected to uh, create a video at the end of the project, okay, saying, stating what they have done. So I will be just showing one of them, namely this one, so that you can have a better idea of the, what they actually have done. Okay, so I'll go to here and I will play the video. It's a short video, it's three minutes long. Students obtain from this project. 
Okay, so since things like team, market, company, environment, ethics, they are also emerged on this report. This showing that the students are not just concerned about what is the what are the project goals, but also the kind of this kind of stuff they also obtain from doing the EPS. So conclusions. Um, the paper reports the paper that is published at the team it reports about the development process okay, uh, of the wooden and metallic dome. I will be talking more about this regarding the dome projects. Team proposes simple solutions, fulfilling the project requirements and develop prototypes demonstrating effectiveness of proposed design. The initial design was during development by a adopting an identification system to simplify dome assembly and system for inclusion of color-blinded people. So we are talking here about assemblage and assemblage instructions. They were concerned not only about producing a clear manual, but the manual being as much inclusive as possible. It's showing also the concern about the ethics and the ontology of the engineering process. Okay? And that's it.